me off the screen. Minimize it and put it back. Minimize it, put it back. Why not start capture? Because then it looks like that. Minimize it and reopen it. Minimize it and reopen it. it says, Minimize, reopen. Oh. Okay, I fixed it. Well, Dustin, we planned for this to be a Spartan Ops Let's Play. We did. It's kind of turned into a sad podcast now. What? Well, turned into a kind of sad watch the download screen. See, having just moved from PlayStation 3 to being a sworn 360 supporter now, I'm suddenly, like, in the same place that I just ran from. Yeah. <sighs> Capturing... Load Shrooms. screens. <laughs> we have more load screen footage than any channel yeah. on YouTube. Ever. Ever. In the history of anything. <gasps> so how'd you feel about episode 9, Dustin? Now that you watched it. It's pretty intense. Freaking Palmer just shot Halsey. Like, yeah. in the face. Not in the face. In the shoulder. Yeah. She'd be dead if she got shot in the face. Yeah. Let's face it. Cool. <laughs> God. That, that was so bad, I just cried. I don't... <sighs> Where do you begin with 343? And what they've done. Bungie? And what they've done to the they Halo started? franchise. What have they not done? It makes me sad. What have they done? It started with ODST. That was Bungie. Which I didn't play. No. This is like the deviation from oh. the old school Halo. Yeah, but I thought you were just talking one, about 343. No. Well, you said, you said 1, 2, and 3, It started right? with like ODST. <laughs> it started with ODST. The deviation. From what I hear, the team split in half, and half of it worked on ODST, and the other half worked on Reach. Which is why they both sucked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and now Halo 4 is out, and I'm not sure how I feel about it. Halo 4 is amazing. I think they could have done better. Story-wise. I don't think they could have. Don't get me wrong, it's a spectacular game. Freaking love it. It's one of my most favorite games of all time. But story-wise, they could have done more. I don't think so. I don't know. It's like they tried to do what Star Trek 09 did with the Star Trek yeah. franchise, but Star Trek 09 did it right, mm -hmm. and I feel like Halo 4 did not do it right. I don't think so. I mean, it felt like Halo 4 was just starting all the Halos over again. Because we're fighting the Covenant again for some reason. It's drastically new from the... And there's always and a secondary enemy party. I don't know. Who what, was, what was with the lack of flood on the Forerunner structure? You do realize you Requiem. just said... What was what? Yeah, the loading screen just went away because apparently Xbox... Dougie, Dougie... That Xbox to there, Dougie. It's oh, back. It's back. I feel better now. Some for some reason. What were we gonna say? Oh, we're almost a third of the way done. Yay! You do realize you just said what was with the lack of flood on a forerunner structure? Yeah. That's like the best place to get away from the flood is on a forerunner structure. No, dude. The halos were forerunner structures, and there was flood crawling all over the place. Yeah, but those were designed to feed the flood by killing everything. I think there should have been flood. Forerunner structures were like the forerunners actually live and want to protect. They, like, defend with everything they have. Like in Halo Wars. <sighs> yeah, I guess. Like, one of the worst Halo games ever. I think where it started, because that was even before ODST, I believe. Where the deviation started. Had amazing cinematics, but was a horrible game. And what is with the, uh, bizarre silhouette of the knights? 
I mean, bizarre. So what? They have like this huge, enormous upper body and these tiny little legs and these tiny little arms. Why'd they do that? Because I've seen That's some just... of the I've seen some of the concept art of all the Prometheans yeah. that they were gonna do, and it looked amazing. It like they could have looked better, yeah. I think. Like there were more. Like you know how the elites in Halo One and Halo Two looked. Yeah. Very tall and sleek. I think they should have went that route with it. I don't know. I think it worked. The crawlers Those are, are awesome intense. and terrifying. Promethean dogs. Yeah, they have a very uh, compy esque yeah. quality <laughs> when you see them coming. Yeah. Get Jurassic Park flashbacks of tiny things overwhelming although, people and killing. Although, if you're like kind of far back, are like the funnest things to kill because you just get like headshot after headshot with a. Oh my god, it's so fun like getting a, headshots. What are what is it called on Halo Four? The DMR Mark. It's like Mark grunts only on all fours. Yeah. Yeah, it's amazing. But man, you get one with a binary rifle sticking out of its face. Oh god. Hard to find that bastard. But yeah. I hate the binary rifle. <laughs> I don't even. I don't even Unless think. Unless you have it. Even if I have it, I don't even. Zeros and ones are deadly. <laughs> I don't even think the what you who's them. I don't even think a headshot on a Promethean Knight on Legendary with the binary rifle will kill them in one hit. No, Promethean Knights are like stupid, retarded, hard to kill. <laughs> yeah. On Legendary. And then <laughs> in a uh, Spartan Ops, all the episodes, like someone stabs one with a knife and it dies. <laughs> And like, poof, it just teleports into nothing, or just like, disintegrates. I think the only thing that could possibly one-shot anything is Energy Sword. Yeah. You have to get close. Yeah. <laughs> and you'll find that the majority of Prometheans have a weapon that is exponentially more powerful yeah. than what your armor was designed to handle. <laughs> yeah. So, like, especially the scatter shot. Scatter shot, close range, can... Kill a Promethean Knight in one shot. Yeah. But, close range. Yeah. Bold, italicized, underlined. Yeah. Freaking. Jesus. Yeah. In Spartan Ops, Palmer's just. She has dual magnums out and just like shooting them left and right, I killing know. them all in one hit. It's like, like a hit in the chest would just kill them in one hit I know. and then disintegrate. It was so ridiculous. I like expended all 42 rounds of Magnum yeah. on a Promethean Knight and he killed me. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, geez. So you do it all over again. What's your favorite assassination of a Promethean Knight? Is there more than one? I don't know. I think there's more than one. I don't even think people have done it enough to make all of them happen. <laughs> <laughs> Master Chief tears the sword arm off and yeah. sticks it in his face. Yeah. That's, that's the best assassination like ever. Yeah. And it was more profound than the first time in Halo Reach when you assassinate an elite. Yeah. And you, like, use his ankle to get up to his neck and stab yeah. him. This, it's like, wow, you tore his arm off and shoved it through his face. Best assassination ever or just on a Promethean night? I think ever. Best assassination ever? Yeah. Best assassination ever was the Master Chief with the grenade on a hunter. Oh, my God. Forward and Dawn, dude. That was amazing. Yeah. And I feel like all the stuff that's coming after that now, all these cool web series, like there was Blood and Chrome, yeah, which doesn't premiere on the Sci-Fi Channel until... Or has it already? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, have you and seen... And then there's all the Spartan Ops episodes. Yeah. Have you seen the fan film The Fallen? I have not. Or like there, there's a couple trailers or something for it. The fan film The Fallen. What's The Fallen? Is it in the Halo universe? Yes. It seems to be like more a bunch of random stuff than like a really, really specific storyline. Like Marines, like helmet cams yeah, and stuff. Marines. Which is still cool. Yeah. It's it's still not much on story, it's still just like looks cool. Separate cameraman, like filming it in the third person, but it was pretty intense. 
and uh, there was a. Uh, they use like awesome foam gun replicas that look like exactly like the weapons. It's pretty intense. That's awesome. Yeah. Speaking of independent filmmakers, just watch some stuff on Freddie W's channel. Oh. And this month of February 2013, they're doing all the principal photography of Video Game High School Season no. 2. Yeah. No. And they're going... July. He says they're going to release it in July. I can't wait for that. Is it July or June? July. Did they move it up? Or, I, I guess. I think it was June I just first. I watched it yesterday while I was chilling in the library at school. Yeah. Yeah. So, that's what's going on there. I can't wait for that to come out. I love Video Game High School. Yeah. It was amazing. It was amazing. I already love Freddy W, but... Yeah. Video Game High School yeah. just like... <laughs> like a really... Oh, we just passed the, the third. 33%. We're a third of the way Decimal there. system can't be divided by a three unless <laughs> you want to die. Yeah. Loading screens are pretty disappointing. Yeah, they are. It seemed like... Is this... Is this a new thing? This has got to be a new thing, right? What? The fact that this is... Just all the load screens that we've had to do over the past... Just got to 35. Updating Xbox and everything. Yeah. I mean, PS3, I was so used to it. Every time you popped a <laughs> freaking game yeah, in it, yeah. it's like installing it on the PC or something. But Halo, Halo 4... More specifically, installing a Blizzard game on the PC. <laughs> <laughs> Just destroys your computer. Which takes four days yeah. and siphons off the internet from not only your house, yeah. but, like, the houses around you. <laughs> you. You look up in the sky around your house, and there's just this visible distortion <laughs> in the sun's rays, and your computer... And the clouds, like, warping yeah, into your, your house. Yeah, your computer just draws everything in. <laughs> yeah. Creates a... Vortex of the interwebs. Distortion in the space-time continuum. Yeah. Maybe that's how they're gonna make warp bubbles. That's where Bigfoot sightings come from. Yeah. Sometimes Neanderthals and whatnot stumble through. Yeah. Proto-humans. Yeah. Pro yeah. <laughs> Floresians. Yeah. Real-life hobbits. Cheese. Uh, that's where the Loch Ness Monster came from. Yeah. The guy that lives on the shore of Loch Ness installed StarCraft. Yeah. And just just a plesiosaur. Yeah, just sucked swam right in through. from the the uber ancient Pacific. Oh my god. It's coming. Well, that concludes this brief experiment where we talk about things that we like to talk yeah. about. We we got through like twenty six percent of the download in how long? 13 minutes. 13 minutes? Oh, God, that's disappointing. We've been ranting for 13 minutes now. We'll let you go, Internet. Stay frosty. Yeah.